In this video, I'm going to take you through creating a new application based on some old Oracle forms and the sorts of things you should think about. So at the moment, I'm showing the old Summit application with customers and orders and what have you. And I'm just looking at the layout here. You can see you've got a tree for customers, the customer name, and then you've got various customer details down the bottom here with customer info, address, billing, comment, and so forth. Then you also have the orders page, which shows the date ordered, a product image, and the items that they've selected. And then finally, we've also got an inventory page where it shows the product and the stock information for that product. So rather than trying to replicate exactly what we're seeing in our Oracle Forms layouts here, what I'm going to do is go over to Apex and show you some of the options you've got for creating an application with Apex. So I'm in the project here. You can see I've got my orders form and my customers form. But what I'm going to do is actually just go back to the application builder and click on create. And I want to create a new application. And I'm just going to call this summit. And then I'm going to start adding in some pages. Just before I do that, however, I'm just going to go and have a look at the object browser so we can see what database objects we have. So we have the customer table, and you can see we've got the various columns in there that we need. We've got our orders table. We've also got items that go with the orders. And then we have our inventory table. So what I'm going to do is just go back into the create application wizard and start adding in some pages. So the first one I'm going to add in is a report and I'm going to call this customers and I'll just select the table and I want to include the form and we've got a sales rep ID. Instead of showing the ID, I want to show the sales rep's last name and for the region ID, again, I want to show the region name. So I'm going to add that page in. As an alternative, then I'm also going to add in a master detail. And we're going to do a side by side. And so I'm going to call this one customers side by side. And again, I'm just going to select the customers table and the primary column I want to display is the name. The secondary column I want to display is the sales rep ID. And then I can add in the orders and show the orders for that particular customer. I'll just add that page in as well. And then as yet another example, I'm going to do another master detail, but this time I'm going to do stacked with the customers and the orders, add that page in, I'll just call this one customers stacked and I'll add that page in. Now let's look at the orders themselves. Again, I want to show a few different pages and this way we can actually sit down with our users, see which ones they like the most. So I'm just going to do an orders table here. Include the form, do lookup columns, again for the sales rep ID, I want to show his last name, for the customer ID, I want to show his name, so I'll add that page in. Just like before, I'm going to do a master detail of orders side by side. And with this one, I'm going to use the item table for the child table, add that page for products. And 
I'm going to do another master detail for products. And the two child tables, inventories and items. Add that page in. Now down the bottom here we have a number of features. I'm just going to check all of those and create the application. Now let's just go and run the application so we can see the different types of pages we've created and make choices about which ones we want. So I'll just log in. First of all, we'll look at our customers and you can see that we've got our customer name. When we click on here, you'll see, for example, that the region already has a select list for the different regions. The salespeople, same deal, has a select list. So that shows all the customer details. We can also edit any of these details. So that takes care of that primary customer form very well. However, we might be more interested in this sort of layout where we've got the customer ID. And then when we select it, we can see the customer details and then their orders. And so we can show both of these to their end users. And from here, we can actually edit the customers much like we could before. And in fact, we can go and edit orders or add orders in here as well. And there's quite an effective way of changing the, the way that your business works insofar as they can do more with this page. Now let's look at the stacked page. And with this one, we've got our customers. And then when we select a particular customer, then it's showing all the orders for that customer. Now of the three, we might decide that the customer side by side is the most appropriate. Looking at the orders, similar way. This page here, not very useful. Again, let's look at orders side by side. I've got an order here. We can go in, we can see all the different items for that order. We can go and add in a new items and what have you. With our products, this page here is just showing the product details. This product side by side. Again, we can select a product. And once we've done that, we can see all the inventory and the items. Let's go back in to the Create Application Wizard. And what I'm going to do is just pull up the previous app that I just created a few minutes ago. Uh, we're going to keep this Customers one here. And we're going to change this one to be Customers and Orders. We're going to get rid of the customers stacked. Uh, this orders page here, we're going to get rid of that one as well. And we'll just change this one to be orders. And then we're going to get rid of this one here and keep the product side by side, but just change the numbers. And it's not really useful to have the items in here so we'll remove that and just have products and inventory. Now I can actually just create again. And this is now the basis for our application that we're using to replace the old Summit Oracle Forms application. As you can see, it's much better to create a brand new application or utilizing the features within Apex rather than necessarily trying to recreate exactly the, the same look and feel or layouts that we had in Oracle Forms. Thank you very much.